Hello gamers, welcome back to PowerPlay. If you use emulators on Android, you've definitely heard of GameHub, that one launcher that organizes all your emulated games in one clean interface. But today there's something new, and honestly, it might be better. The developer behind GameHub just dropped a new version called GameHub Lite, and this one's got people talking. Not because of fancy features, but because of what it doesn't have. Let me explain. A few weeks ago, the developer posted on Reddit, exposing GameHub's hidden issue, unethical data collection. The old app was loaded with tracking SDKs, random permissions, and telemetry pinging data to overseas servers. Instead of just complaining about it, they decided to fix it themselves. That's how GameHub Lite was born, a cleaner, lighter, and completely privacy-focused version of the launcher. No tracking, no permissions you don't need, no camera, no mic, no location access. Just a fast, offline launcher for all your emulator games. The original game hub was around 115 megabytes, but light? Just 47 megabytes. That's less than half the size, and it loads almost instantly. Go to the official GitHub page for game hub light. You'll find four APKs available. If you're having issues with the normal one, download the fixed normal APK. Or if you want to boost your performance, grab the Antutu APK version. It's optimized for smoother gameplay. Note this, it might make your device run a little hotter during gameplay. So keep an eye on the temperature if you're gaming for long sessions. Once installed, open GameHub Lite. You'll see a clean, minimal interface, no sign-ins, no permissions, no distractions. Simply tap the import button to add your PC games. Locate your game folders and select the titles you want. Once you do that, GameHub Lite will automatically download any necessary files required for your games to run. You can also download those files manually. I already have them, so time to tweak my settings. That's it. That's your complete guide to installing and getting started with Game Hub Lite. I hope this helps you skip the errors and get straight to gaming. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for more emulator slash launcher tutorials. Drop a comment below if you run into any issues. I'll try to help. See you in the next one.